Part three of my 2048 coding challenge. Um, so what am I trying, what do I got here? I actually have, it's very hard to follow without animations and I, maybe I'll come back and add animations in another part, but I have the full game mechanic available to play right now. So the things that I want to add in this video are number one, score. Number two, a test to see if I've run out of moves to say game over. And number three, I want to be more thoughtful. Like if I could ever play it well enough to get to 128, you would see that it wouldn't fit. Um, so uh, I'm just like randomly uh, making moves right now. So I need to deal with the font size to make it more dynamic. So let's try to do some of that stuff. So according to the game rules, I'm gonna say let score equal zero. Whenever you combine two tiles, your score goes up by the value of that combined amount. So we can say here, um, wherever I have my combine function, and again, this would be so helpful to organize this. Uh, so right here, whenever I combine, if A and B, I can say score plus equal A plus B. Or why don't I say row index I just to, for the sake of, so I added those two, the score goes up by that much. Now, let me just really, really quickly in the body add a paragraph ID score. And again, I'm not gonna be, this is a very, I'm very like, crude way of doing it, but I'm just going to, in using the p5dom library, in the draw function, I'm going to say sketch, I'm going to say select uh, score.html score. So now, you should see there's the score. Okay, let's make that score a little bit bigger. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to say style, I'm just going to put it in line style here. Style equals uh, font size uh, 32 point, that should do the trick. There we go. And now, okay, so now I should have the score. I'm pretty sure this is working correctly as it's supposed to. So now I have my score. All right, boy, am I doing great. So I added a score, that's wonderful. Now I need to add a check to see if I've finished playing the game. So how do I do that? So in the main code, and by the way, this is, this is the other thing that's terrible. I don't want to have a draw loop here. I should really just be, I should be update uh, canvas. I should in setup, oh, look at all this code. This is horrific. I should say no loop. And again, I'm going to need to animate later. So I'm going to need the draw loop back. But just for right now, um, in uh, key pressed, where I say, if the game was played, I'm gonna say update canvas. So now, and I should do it at least once at the beginning, update canvas. So now at least performance wise, I'm not like spinning the browser, um, spinning the, uh, using the processor over and over again to redraw the same thing. Okay, so now I need a check. When I've played, I need to Right here, I need to sue, uh, uh, is game over? So I'm going to write a function. I'm just going to put it on the top right now. Function is game. Actually, we kind of know. Here's the thing. The game is over if there are no numbers next to each other that are identical and the board is full. So there's no zeros. So I can write a function. I will write this function. Is game function is game over, and I'm going to say, I'm going to do a loop. I'm going to get my double loop, which I have everywhere. And for each spot, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume game over is true. And I'm going to, for each spot, if the grid i, j, equals zero, then the game is not over. Return false. So if there's a zero, the game's not over because I can move. If grid i j equals grid i j plus one, 
So I could check everything to the right and just go 0 through 3. But I'm going to have to check the 4 for a 0, I think. Um, if it's equal, then something can be combined. Return false. If grid i j equals grid i plus 1 j j, then also the game is not over. So the game is not over and really, so the game is not over if there's any zeros or, um, and so I'm going to check every single spot, but I'm only going to check the edges if i is not equal to 3 and there's two that are the same, or if j is not equal to 3 and they're two the same. So this should tell me if I get through every single spot and it's not equal to what's to the right of it or to below it or it's not a 0, then the game is over. And so if I get to the end, I'm going to say return true. I don't actually need this Boolean variable at the beginning. This is my ridiculous function now to determine if the game is over. And where did I check it here? So I'm going to say uh, let game over equals is game over. And if game over console.log game over. OK, let's see if this works. <laughs> Oh, sketch.js line 13 has an error. If j, oh, I'm missing a curly bracket somewhere. I have an extra parentheses. There we go. OK, here we go. Let's take this again. Uh, line 21, I have an extra bracket here now. OK, let's try to make the game over. I'm just going to rely on my random, whatever, there we go, uncaught type error, cannot read sketch.js line 13, property zero of num undefined. So I got into a funny place here, so I, this, now the game is over, <laughs> but I got an error when the game ended. Uh, if j is, oh, whoops, look at this, I got to be checking j here and i here. I did this in like a weird order. I want to do i first and j second. So that was a mistake. <laughs> but I should, I should build in something to test it without having to like go crazy playing it. But, you know, eventually I'll get to the game over. Game over! Okay, <laughs> yay! Game over! It actually tells me the game is over because there are no more moves left. Okay, now we need to, let's add a little bit of color and change the font size. So, um, where do I, where do I draw the text? Here. So, text size should be actually a function. I'm going to map the value, which goes between 0 and 248. And when it's 248, it should be 16 point. And when it's 0, it should be 64. Uh, so it's bigger. Maybe it's like 16 point when it's 2048. So let's try this. Why is the font size not changing? OK, so this was kind of a nice idea. But now I'm realizing that basically uh, I really need to shrink it exponentially as it goes down. So I really should take like the log of the value. Maybe I could, and then that'll go from zero between the log of, of zero and 2048. Will this do the trick for me to do the logarithmic scale? Yeah, you can see it's getting, but ultimately, <laughs> yeah, so this is better using logarithmic scale. It's a little bit nonsensical because really I should just, I have a better idea. Like, let's get rid of this for a second. Let's just, let's just convert it into a string. So this is me making a string from the value. And then I want to um, get the length of that string. And then the font size, text size, should be uh, the, I can make an array, right? 
sizes equals, okay, so if it's, the, if it's one, I want it to be 64. If it's two, I want it to be 64. If it's three, maybe 32. And if it's four, 10, 24, 248, let's make it 16. So now I just want to say sizes just based on that length. So I could just see how long is the string and then pull one of these from the array based on the length is now an index into that array. And that should give me, <laughs> I have to play it for a little. Yeah, 16, which is two. Oh, this it would be zero. So length plus one, or minus one, apologies for that. So now if I get to three, if, oh, I'm going to have to get to 10. <laughs> You're going to have to trust me on this. This is going to require a lot of editing. So I'll come back in a minute. Oh, I'm back because I finally got a 128. And you can see the 128 is smaller. Oh boy, you could do so many better ways of, of doing that. Okay, so now, you know, obviously I could map a color to the background. I could do animations. But this is really it. I now have essentially the full game. I have a mechanism for trying to figure out, you know, I could map a color to each number. Um, easily by having some kind of lookup table. But I, I, at some point, maybe I'll come back and try to animate this. But please, please, make your own version of this. Improve it. This is the end of this coding challenge. I have made 2,048. Is that what it's called? Goodbye.